Hello everyone, this is Talking with T-Stout with you, and I just want to give my personal opinion on the kickoff game, the Saints versus the Packers, week one. Now, I had to do some shopping last night, so I didn't get to watch it until the second half, and, you know... I was watching it, and the special team coverage was just crazy. I mean, 107 yards, the little barrel roll as he got hit and ran it back, and then Sproles, you know, just returning it back for a kickoff. It's like back-to-back kickoff returns, really? What? It was it was a hell of a game. Aaron Rodgers lit it up. Drew Brees lit it up. They are on fire. Now, to me, what I saw anyway, you know, from what I saw, the Saints should have won the game. But I gave it all to the Packers. They played hellacious defense down on the goal lines there. The, that third, that fourth and one, where Drew Brees did a play action and scrambled and got hit for the sack. I think that was, I think that was, uh, maybe that was third and one, and and they didn't. Yeah, I think it was third and one, and they kicked the field goal, and and the goal line stand, you know, at the very end. Wow, Mark Ingram, you're a Heisman winner. You got to, the Saints, you guys got to make, if you can't make one yard to get a touchdown, then you deserve to lose. You guys had that game. Hell of defense by the Packers. And I don't have a problem with both these teams. I like both these teams. You know, but you got to get one yard if you're going to win. And you had a twi- you had two times to get one yard. He was he was on this side of the goal line, one yard to go. You gave it to Ingram. The Packers knocked the shit out of you. Field goal, game winner. Need a touchdown, a two point conversion. Mark Ingram, Packers knocked the shit out of you. You know this isn't the SEC. You gotta get one yard, Saints. One yard. The defensive line kicked your ass. You know, the, the Packers defensive line beat the shit out of you. you know, it was a hell of a game. A um, couple things that I thought would, was bullshit. You know, um, Woodson, you know, threw that little punch in the stomach. I don't know if the ref saw it. I, I saw it on the replay. They could have been jaw jacking or whatever, got pissed off. But he threw a punch. And I think by rule, if you throw a punch, you should get kicked out. I don't know if the the ref saw it or not, but I saw the replay. He did throw a punch. I don't know if it landed. But by rule, he should have been kicked out. And who knows what would have happened then because, you know, Woodson's a hell of a corner. But they probably just would have brought in one of their other corners, which is pretty good. You know, who knows what happens there? You know, that was just a that that was just a play that you know he should have been kicked out, but whatever. It probably wouldn't have changed anything, but you know, whatever. He should he's gonna get a Roger Dragel is gonna write him a check. So you pay me. Now the last play of the game, not the last play, but that pass interference on AJ Hawk was bullshit. That was not pass interference. That was bullshit. He dove over him, knocked the ball down, and then after knocking the ball down, he clips his shoulder, and they call pass interference. That was a bullshit call. The game should have been over there. Uh, The referee was blind. It was a bad call. Now, what a hell of a football game. Breeze and Rodgers just, you know... Brees throws over 400 yards. Roger throws over 300 yards. No interceptions. Passer ratings both high as hell. That's a way to kick off a season. Special teams on defense, they both need to, I don't know, they both need to get better on defense. But, you know, which is what a hell of a game.
you know, I, I don't know the thing. This is completely off the Saints and the Packers, but every well, not everybody, but most of my friends know that I'm a Patriot fan, and I hate the Colts. And the Colts are Texans. You better win the South. That's all I got to say. This is your time to win the South. Bye bye, Peyton. See you in next year. Uh, that's all I got to say to that. Um, yeah, well, c- congratulations on football being back. This is w- this is what we want. You know, and what the hell? I'm, I'm only five minutes into it. I'm gonna make some predictions here. Um, I'm gonna be bold. Um, I I do believe the Packers are gonna win the North. I think the I actually think the Lions, believe it or not, are gonna come in second place in that division because I mean the Vikings. You know, they got Donovan McNabb, they suck. They got the Bears, which, yeah, I think they're going to drop off from, from what they did last year. So I, I think Packers are going to be first. Lions are going to be second. The Lions might make the wild card. I mean, because they're a hell of a team. If they can get their offense clicking, watch out for the Lions because that defensive front is going to be hell. I mean, it just... I'm going high with the Lions this year. They, they've been bad for so long. I just want to see them get in the playoffs. Just a wild card. We go to the um, the NFC East, where we got the the quote unquote dream team of the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Giants, and the Redskins. Um, me personally, I don't care. Because I don't like the NFC East. I don't like any of the teams in the NFC East, really. I hate I hate the Giants. I hate the Cowboys. I really don't like... I don't have anything against the Redskins. They just, they just suck. But, you know, I just think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to come away with... I hope Dallas. No, I hope... I hate Dallas. Yeah, I think Philly's going to win that one. As far as the um, NFC South with the Falcons... The Panthers, oh God. The Saints and Falcons are going to fight over that one. I think the Falcons are going to come out with that one again. I think the Saints are going to bounce back. But I think Atlanta's going to take that. And then you got the NFC West. Can, can we get a winning record? Please, is all I'm saying. Just a winning record. Um, I think the Rams are going to win it. Um, probably, hopefully, with a winning record, that 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 division is garbage. I'll go to the AFC, AFC West. Uh, the Chargers should win that one easily, easily. And the Chiefs suck. Denver's got, eh, they're all right. And the Raiders suck. <laughs> So I think San Diego should win that one. The AFC South, Peyton's gone, so the Colts are done. Jacksonville, they suck. This is the Texans' time to win this division. The Titans, eh, maybe the Titans. It's Chris Johnson back. I I, I don't know. I, let's let's. I think the Texans should win this division. I really, really do. AFC North is going to be a fist fight between the Ravens and the Steelers, as always. The Browns and Bengals suck. Um, everybody has, um, and hell, they, they they play they play Sunday, so why not? You know, every I'm watching some uh, some first take right now, and somebody has the Ravens going to the Super Bowl. You know, it's like. It's going to be a dog fight in the North like it always is. I think the Steelers are going to come out on top because I think they have a weak schedule. They got the NFC North. and I mean, they got the NFC West, and anytime you have the NFC West, there's four wins on your schedule. Um, you know, it's not weak per se, but, I mean, it's, it's pretty. I don't know. The NFC West is garbage. There's four wins. So I think the Steelers are going to come out on top. And then we got this AFC East. You know, New England, the Jets, the Bills, and the Dolphins. Well, I'm, I'm a Patriot fan. 
you know, I'm, I'm gonna make this as least biased as I can here. I just think I, I don't I don't think the Jets are gonna go. I really don't. Uh, the Bills are garbage. Yeah, so I think it's a toss up. It's a toss up between the Jets and the Patriots. Like well ha like it's been for the past two or three years. You know, they're gonna fight for it. I, I think the Patriots are gonna come up on top when Chad and Tom and Hainsworth they all they all get clicking. They got some young talent up there. And they got a pretty good backup quarterback, Ryan Mallett, that's uh, pretty good. But I think the Patriots are going to take it. But it's going to be a dogfight. I mean, they're going to have to fight for it. The Jets are right there. You know, and who knows with the Bills. The Bills might shock some people. You never know. And, you know, the Dolphins, you just don't. I don't think the Dolphins... Are gonna do it, but you just you don't know. Um, wow, picking a Super Bowl, shit. Uh, I do not think. I don't think we're gonna have a rematch of the Packers versus the Steelers. I, I just don't think so. Oh God. I don't even think the Packers or the the Saints, uh, the Packers or the the Steelers are gonna get back to the Super Bowl either one of them. It, it's just I don't know. I'm I'm right now I'm high on the Atlanta. You know I got Atlanta. <laughs> AFC's tough. Well the Colts are done. It's just it, it's hard. I'm I'm gonna pick the Patriots. I'm not being biased here. Uh, I just it's just so hard to go back to a Super Bowl back to back. The Pitts, the Steelers, and the Packers could do it. We could have a rematch. You know, I'm not saying that it's not gonna happen. It's just it's unlikely it's gonna happen. But we really, really we could have a rematch. But you know, I just think it's gonna be the the Falcons versus the Patriots. And I really think if that happens, I think the Falcons are going to win. You know, yeah, I want the Patriots to win the Super Bowl, but that Falcons team is going to be dangerous. That's just my picks for now. Yeah, but we could, we really could have a, a rematch of the Super Bowl unless someone gets injured. But the Colts are done. I'm so glad the Colts are done. And hallelujah, football being back. You know, th that is my picks. Oh, the, the wild cards. Shit, I forgot about the wild card. I really think the wild cards are going to be. Um, wow, that's tough. Wild card winners. It's going to be the, the Saints versus, yeah, it's going to be the Saints versus the fucking, uh, wow. The Saints or Saints or Lions are going to be the wild card. That's going to be tough. Probably more likely the Saints than the Lions. And the wild card is going to be either the Jets or the Patriots. One of them's the wild card. Yeah, Jets or Patriots. Well, but yeah, that, that's all my picks for this season. Yeah, I I think the Patriots versus the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Well, I'm just glad football is back. Everybody have a great football season and cheer your ass off for your teams. This has been talking with T Stout, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.